Hey, what's up everybody? It's CrossCurrent. Today I'm going to talk about a game called Valgrave Immortal Planes. Now, this game is a Battle Royale that came out in October of last year, so it's still considerably new. The biggest problem with this game is that it doesn't have a big player base. There are a lot of people who like to play at the same time, but unfortunately it's not consistent enough to where it has a popping community. Now, as of a couple days ago, they have made an update that now fills the game with bots, making the lobbies as big as 30 to 40 people instead of less than 10 or maybe even just two players. Now, I'll get some more details about the update in a later video after I do this video and a For the King video, which the community is begging me for. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Back to Valgrave, though. The game is very similar to Spellbreak, but more simplified. So kind of like Fortnite compared to PUBG. Now, what you do in this game is you just spawn right on the map. Rather than dropping, you pick a spot with a dual partner, since that's the only mode that's allowed right now. And you just spawn in, and you pick up a bunch of weapons, which the weapons in this game are only spells. There are five slots for spells, and to pick them up, you press F to delete them if you don't want them. You hit Control and F at the same time. Now, why would you destroy stuff like this? Because when you do, you gain levels. Also, you'll notice that there are dragons on the maps. If you kill dragons, you also gain levels. If you kill players, you also gain levels. Now, one of the weird things about this game is levels only give you more health. Other people can see what level you are and may be intimidated by that, but that's about it. Now, in your inventory, there are five slots. The starting keys for that are Q, E, R, left mouse button, and right mouse button. Now, I personally have made the right and left mouse button keys for abilities that are more skill shoddy than AOE, healing, or movement, just because that's what I'm familiar with. Now, I'm not going to give you a guide on exactly what items to use, what's the meta, or any of that. I'll make that in a separate video. But today I'm going to describe just the basic idea of what you should be looking for. Now, for starting off in the game, I would suggest having at least one to two movement abilities, one to two healing abilities, one to two CC abilities, and whatever's left over, try to have around two damaging abilities. So basically, if you're starting off, the safe way I'd go is one movement, one healing, one stunning ability, or CC in some way, to full-on damage abilities. Now, since you are new to the game, I would not suggest using the skill shots, just so then you learn the gameplay, and you can just hit your shots rather than missing them wildly. Now, some of the other mechanics in this game, of course, aside from moving with WASD, is that you get a double jump. This means you can jump once, and while you're in the air, you can jump again. It's really helpful. It helps you with maneuvering and avoiding. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Now when it comes to the map in this game, really all the items you need, they're just spread out pretty well throughout. The best place to look for items though is inside the main keep. You'll just see a little, a, well, a big house on the map, what it looks like from above. But when you go inside, it's more of a chapel with multiple floors. There is more loot here in a small confined area. But also most of the more competitive players will land here and try to fight you to remove you, get quick experience, and get all the stuff they need to move forward. When it comes to gameplay, there is not an in-game chat system, whether it be text or speaking over a microphone. But if you want to suggest something to a teammate, you press T and it marks it on the map so they can see it. Now, I'm not sure on how to remove a marker, so don't use it too much, or the entire map will be marked. But if you're also trying to find out where your ally is, you can hold down M to see the map, and it'll show where he is. It'll be a blue marker for you. That'll also be the case when you're landing. If you see a bunch of orange arrows, that's an enemy. If you see a blue or white arrow, that's your ally. You can land on the same spot as them, but you can't land on the same spot as an enemy. You can land near, though, and chase, and it's a lot of fun. That being said, guys, I think that will do it for the guide today. If you have any specific questions about the game, please feel free to ask me. The mods are working really hard to make this game a lot better and are also incorporating bots pretty soon here. 
just so then people have a little more combat going on rather than the in-between time where you're just killing a bunch of dragons and destroying stuff. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. Please drop a subscription if you enjoy this video, and I'll see you all next time. Where you going, buddy? See ya. You see me right in front of the jump spot in front of the